Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for October the 3rd of 2019, well, it is titled The Hydrogen Clouds of M33. So what do we see here? Well, this is a galaxy known by several names. M33 is one example. It's also known as the Triangulum Galaxy. And it is an example of a spiral galaxy. And it is one of the nearest galaxies to us. The Andromeda Galaxy is about two or two and a half million light years away. And this is only a little bit further at about three million light years away. And is part of our local group of galaxies. Now, our local group is a few dozen galaxies, uh, including three large spirals, of which the Andromeda Galaxy, our Milky Way, and the Triangulum Galaxy here are all apart. Now, one of the things that we're looking at here and that is emphasized in the image are the hydrogen clouds, the, the pinkish glow that we see scattered around the spiral arms. The hydrogen clouds seen here are caused when the hot stars excite the hydrogen gas around them. And what happens is they excite the hydrogen gas. They cause its electrons to be stripped off of the atoms. So a hydrogen atom is one proton and one electron. And when ultraviolet radiation strikes a hydrogen atom, it can rip off that electron. And then when it recombines, it gives off different colors of light. And the primary color in the visible spectrum that hydrogen atoms will give off is a red color, giving us this pink glow. So the pink glow is showing regions of excited hydrogen gas, and that is telling us about star formation. How does it tell us about star formation? Well, that's because the in order to get this ultraviolet radiation, we need very hot stars. And hot stars do not live for a long time. Hot stars may only live a few million years, maybe 10 million years, and then they're gone. So in order the fact that we're seeing them, that means that they must have formed within the last few million years. Otherwise, they would have already gone through their lives and we would no longer be able to see them. So just the fact that we are seeing that hydrogen gas tells us that the stars around it that are energizing it must have formed relatively recently. And that is true in spiral galaxies. Spiral galaxies, for the most part, are uh, regions where stars are forming. That includes our Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy and the Triangulum Galaxy here as well. Now, when we look at the image here, we do see, of course, all of those hydrogen uh, regions within the galaxy. But you also see a number of stars scattered around. The stars that you see that I've highlighted here are not part of the Triangulum Galaxy. They are actually part of our own galaxy. Now, I've highlighted a couple of them. There are others scattered around as well, but they, they just happen to lie in the same direction on the sky, but are much, much closer. They are within our own galaxy, not three million light years away, with the Triangulum Galaxy. So when we look out in space in astronomy, we lose that distance perspective because things look like they're all pasted on the same great sphere around the Earth that we call the celestial sphere. Here we're seeing a couple of stars that just happen to be in the same direction on the celestial sphere, but if we could go around and look at it in three dimensions, we would see that they are much, much closer and actually a part of our own galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for October the 3rd of 2019. It was titled The Hydrogen Clouds of M33. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.